reportedly now President Trump says he would like to go ahead with the tariffs on $200 billion in Chinese imports, despite the fact that they're trying to have some negotiations between Secretary Mnuchin and the Chinese. He says he wants to go ahead. The reason why we have not gotten those tariffs yet, reportedly, is they've taken into account the public comments. They're making some adjustments in exactly how those tariffs get applied. Joining us now from Washington is Bloomberg reporter Sean Donnan. So, Sean, is this a surprise? Uh, it is a surprise, and, and to a certain extent, if you remember earlier in the week, the markets were were cheered by the news that Secretary Steven Mnuchin had invited his Chinese counterparts to sit down for another round of negotiations. But we also had the president yesterday on Twitter make clear that uh, he still thought he had a lot of leverage in these talks and raising some questions in the broader dispute and raising some questions about uh, whether these talks would would lead anywhere. I think the the point what, what we're really seeing here is that the administration is planning to keep going ahead, to plowing ahead with its, uh, with its tariffs. And while it, it's willing to talk with the Chinese and sit down and talk, it isn't uh, putting all of its hopes in that basket. Yeah, and in fairness, Sean, uh, we've had Wilbur Ross, Secretary of Commerce, tell us that the president really wants to see what, how the Chinese react to more pressure. So this is really a negotiating uh, style. Absolutely. I mean, throughout uh, this year, what we've seen is the president likes to increase pressure. He thinks these tariffs give him leverage that eventually they'll get a better deal. But there's an also a, a, there, there is certainly a faction in the White House that also sees these tariffs as a kind of long term uh, adjustment, uh, that these are a kind of new normal, that these are things that that will help rebalance uh, the trade relationship. So th that leaves the, the President Trump in a place where he feels pretty happy about either outcome. Uh, uh, either these uh, tariffs raise the leverage and you get a, a better deal than you might have gotten otherwise, or these tariffs uh, do what he wants to do, which is reduce the deficit with China. Well, it's all fine and good to talk about restructuring the trade relationship, getting the trade deficit down, but there may be some consumers that get hit along the way. Thus far, the tariffs are going to affect have really more hit business. They haven't hit the consumer, but if they go to $200 billion, can they avoid having some tariffs on some things you and I buy every day at the market? So this next tranche of 200 billion, that's 6,000 products uh, on that list, and it's already starting to hit some things that, that you and I uh, are going to be looking at. Uh, bikes. I just bought a new bike for my for my daughter. I, luckily, I got ahead of the tariffs uh, there, but uh, that that may not be the case for other people. For example, the big concern is what comes afterwards. If you remember back to last week, President Trump also threatened another 267 billion dollars, which would essentially mean all of the imports from China uh, are. Covered by tariffs, and there's a debate going on in the White House over that as well. And the big question there is how you hit, or whether you're willing to hit consumers. Two big categories to keep an eye on there: smartphones, your iPhones, uh, and laptops and, and computers. Together, they're about 100 billion dollars in trade every year with uh, with China. If you're going to hit everything, that's going to mean consumers are going to be paying more for those smartphones and more for those laptops. 